Oh well, we'll just uh, we've just opened the, the talks with BT. Uh, we had a meeting yesterday to present our case uh, with them. So we're now in a, a period of uh, we've got half a dozen uh, meetings arranged over the next few weeks, and uh, to hopefully uh, secure a deal. Oh, well, we've now came to the, the end of the three-year deal that we struck. It, uh, it's up on the 31st of March. Uh, so 1st of April is the new date we look for uh, to secure a new deal for them. Uh, it's on the, the last deal, the three-year deal. Uh, uh, that was a 3% for three years. It was a good deal. It was an upper quartile of settlements. And, uh, but it's the volatile uh, inflation rate that has been over that time, uh, it put our people slightly behind. Uh, where they should have, we would have liked them to be. So we're just trying to get some recompense for that in, in this deal. Unlike uh, past uh, claims, we're not putting a figure into this claim this year. Uh, that's more about the settlement rather than the claim itself. So what we're really expecting to, to have is uh, we need to secure an above uh, inflation rise for our members uh, this year. And the other element of it is we want to have a, a part of that uh, rise, that percentage pay rise, uh, to be a, a flat rate. Uh, all of which would be fully consolidated. Uh, we're quite clear about that. It must be fully consolidated. Uh, that skews it towards, the, if you like, a little bit towards the lower paid people. Uh, and as everyone would accept, the economy being what it's been in the last couple of years, those people uh, in lower grades and lower paid uh, are suffering even more. So we want to try and redress uh, that in this pay claim. The pay deal is, is supposed to come in into effect from 1st of April, so with people would expect it in the pay packets at, at the end of April. Uh, the reason we put these uh, dates in place is to make sure that we can secure a deal, uh, go through the ballot process that we'd have to have with our members, and if all goes well, it should be in the pay packets by April. Uh, we would like the company to you know, understand that. I don't think it's in their interest or in their interest to prolong these uh, negotiations. Uh, the company's doing very well in the economic climate. Uh, they would argue they could always do better, and possibly that's the case, but they have done really well. They've been putting good results in to, the, to the, the city over the last while. The last quarter's results have been really good. Uh, and at the same time, the share price has now hit within the last few days, the highest it's been for a long number of years at 274. Now that's not a company that, that's, that's losing money. That's a company that's doing well. The city have got obviously confidence in, uh, confidence in it. Uh, we have, we've got confidence in it. Uh, and I think even Ian Livingston himself said you know, the commitment of our engineers over the last uh, period of time with the, with the weather we had in the last year hadn't been for them and their commitment to this company uh, would have been in a different shape. So we've done our bit for, to make this company successful uh, and we're looking for something back for that. Uh, I'm hopeful, very hopeful that we can get there, we can get that you know, above inflation pay rise that's fully consolidated for our members, that we can move forward together with working with the company uh, to help grow it, uh, which is in both our interests, it's been the interest of our members and our future members and it's in the interest of the company. So it's, I think it's a matter of watch this space, let's see what's happening over the next few weeks. We'll certainly be keeping the, the membership in the, uh, informed of what's going on. Uh, and hopefully we can get where we want to be and I want a pay rise that's in place above inflation by the 1st of April.